Teenage Pregnancies and Abortions by Danielle and Emma. About a quarter of all teenage pregnancies in the U.S. end in abortion. Four in five teenage pregnancies are unintended, and two out of every five unintended teen pregnancies end in abortion. 46% of high school students reported ever having had sexual intercourse. There are three unsafe abortion methods that teens are using. Backstreet abortion, which is injection of poisonous substances into womb or inserting objects to dislodge fetus, usually done by someone with no medical background and is unsanitary. Self-induced abortions, herbal remedies to induce a miscarriage and physical abuse such as falling downstairs, hitting the belly, and jumping from heights. Coat hanger abortion, injection of a sharp object to break the amniotic sac and initiate labor prematurely. Emotional and psychological effects following abortion are more common than physical side effects and can range from mild regret to more serious complications such as depression. It may also cause drug and alcohol abuse as well. We asked 100 people to tell us what came to mind when they heard the word birth control. 78 people said the pill. 21 people said a condom. And only one person said abstinence. There are ways that teen pregnancy and the decision of abortion can be avoided. While the pill is the most thought of method to avoid pregnancy, there are of course plenty of other methods such as condoms, IUD, the patch, a vaginal ring, and abstinence. If you find yourself or anyone you know in the situation of being a pregnant teenager not knowing what to do, these places can help. The American Pregnancy Helpline, which is open 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. Baby Safe Haven, which is a confidential toll-free hotline. Safe Haven infant protection laws enable a person to give up an unwanted infant anonymously. And lastly, Planned Parenthood, which is also open 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Thank you.